Bless the name of Jesus, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I am presently at Orokobesa Fisherman Beach, right here in Jamaica. As you hear, the waves are crashing in on the seashore. I just want to talk to you a little bit today on angels. I just want to encourage the remnant family that even though we can't see them with our physical eyes, angels are among us. There are times when they will manifest, you know, as the Lord's will, but, you know, naturally, regularly, they cannot be seen. But my brothers and sisters, there are angels among us. I got a video a few other day, um, an, a few days ago. I don't know if it's somewhere in the Spanish area, like a place like Guatemala or one of those places. But there were some Spanish-speaking persons having a water baptism. And my brothers and sisters, while they were in the water, um, and they were about to baptize I believe it was a young man and to my surprise watching the video I saw two images above them and you know watching the video listening to the video I started to hear people you know in the background there were there are there Spanish speaking um, people they were just giving praise in their language. They were just rejoicing because they, they were seeing what I, I was watching. And it became clearer and clearer where there were two angels above my brothers and sisters. Those who were, you know, proceeding with the water baptism. And I was explaining it to my children, my girls, that... The angels are there because what they are doing in the water is right. The action, the agenda, the proceedings please the Lord. And so, you know, the Lord our God, according to His will, He allowed the angels to be seen. And I mean, this video is circulating all over. I don't know if you have ever seen it yet. You can talk back to me in the comment section. But angels are among us. And why I want to bring this forth today, my brothers and sisters, is because we are heading into a time where angels are going to become more active in our lives. Angels are going to become more active in carrying out orders from the Most High concerning our well-being. I'll share with you a story real quick where I shared it the same morning with my girls watching that video. Uh, a story was told, a true story of a girl, her, her, her grandmother and her, they normally would go out um, to Bible study on a particular night and so the time came again when they were supposed to go for Bible study my brothers and sisters and what happened was was that her grandmother took ill that night and so her grandmother said to her you know that I will not be able to make it you know so we cannot go to Bible study because I'm not feeling well this young sister, she loved the Lord. She really loved the Lord and she said, I'm going. And her grandmother says, but it's not safe because they lived, where they lived at the time was way off the road. And so she had us to walk on a lonely street to get on the main road to get to church. And this girl was a young virgin girl based on the story. She was admired. She was beautiful, very fair, good to look at. And so a lot of young men in the community wanted her. But because of her integrity in God, 
she would not give in to any of them. And so that night she left and she said, Granny, I'll be okay. And she went out on the road and she went to church. She had a good time at Bible study. And the guys, a few guys saw that she was alone that night. Men with not good intentions. And so they made plans for when she was returning. And so they lay wait on her in that lonely street that night. And while she was heading back, my brothers and sisters, hmm, bless the name of Jesus. These men saw this girl as she came closer and closer to them and they were making themselves ready. They saw men, men in military clothes, men in soldier suit, men before her, men beside her, bless the name of Jesus. They saw men behind her and they were around her and she went home that night safely. The next morning, that girl, bless the name of Jesus, heard knocking, you know, at the gate and they were calling. And the grandmother looked out. The same men, they came and asked a question. And they were asking, where did your granddaughter found so many soldiers to take her home last night? And the grandmother asked her, what are they talking about? And this girl says, Granny, I have no idea. I came home alone last night. And they were trying to convince her grandmother what they saw. But the girl says, Grandmother, I don't know what you're talking about. But my brothers and sisters, they are angels among us. And because of the word of God that says, The angels of the Lord encamp it round about those that fear him. Bless the name of Jesus. The word of God promises us that he will give his angels charge over us. I also remember the story with um, the old prophet Elijah. He was making trouble um, to the Assyrians because um, every time that king made plan to attack Israel to ambush Israel Elijah in his little hut would stay miles away and hear all the plans of the king of Assyria you know the story and for those who don't know the story Elijah would report to Israel what the plan was and so the king became wrath every time and said he, he made the plan something went wrong he says who is a traitor among us in this room and one of his, 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 his men said, No, my Lord, it's not so. It's that old prophet, Elijah, who he can tell your plans by his connection with God, in my, in, with his God, in my own words. I don't have my Bible here with me. And so the king decided that he's going to launch an attack on, his, on, on, on Elijah. And my brothers and sisters, the story says that the morning when that, the armor bearer came out very early, he saw they were surrounded by the armies of Assyria. And he panicked and he called for the prophet, Come, come see! But my brothers and sisters, the old prophet, he did not panic. He was relaxed. And the old prophet says, the old prophet said, My Lord, my Lord, open his eyes. Just for this moment, open his eyes. And the Bible says that the Lord opened the eye, eyes of the armor bearer. And lo and behold, he saw angels on the mountain all around them chariots of fire swords flaming swords and the armor bear realize that there are more for us bless the name of jesus than who is against us why i take the time to just share with you the beauty today of this beach 
my remnant brothers and sisters and to share this word of encouragement about angels is because when the light goes out my brothers and sisters when the light goes out and when all hell breaks loose I believe with all my heart that there are gonna be angels that will assist in the remnant I believe that there are gonna be angels that will supplying food transporting food to the people of God who are committed and sincere who is in need in those days as angels prepared a table before Elijah while he was under that tree my God Almighty angels will be active in our dark days ahead and so let us not worry ourselves about what is coming I encourage the remnant family to trust the Lord because as angels were active in the days of old with our ancestors the prophets and the apostles it was angels it that an angel went in when the church prayed for Peter when he was under lockdown and when the time came when the prayer of the saints reached the throne room of God an angel was released and the prison bar was flied open the gates was flied open that Peter could have exit the prison and return to the remnant family brothers and sisters we may not be able to see them now but not because we can't see them remember there are angels among us he has already given his angels charge over the remnant family oh bless the name of Jesus and so whatsoever our needs are in the dark days ahead there will be angels among us for protection there will be angels among us that the Lord will use to provide bless the name of Jesus there will be angels among us in the time of gross darkness if it's just to give light to a dark part bless the name of Jesus angels will be active among us bless the name of Jesus and so be confident in the Lord thy God and know that when the time comes when angels will be needed visible when our burglar bars will not be able to prevent evil men that would want to break into our homes when the time comes where the military the police security forces will not be there for us and no matter of fact let me just pause for a minute right there if you're a police officer watching this video if you are a soldier watching this video I just want to just share with you in humility that your job role that you play was not created for you to protect us the people the truth is that your title your work is to serve the system your work is to protect the elites the agenda to secure those who are of evil intent your job title as a police officer and as a soldier the truth is that it is not for our benefit it's for the governments of this world it's for the system of this world and so let me just share with the remnant that when the time comes when our windows and our doors and our fences will not we will get a an awakening to know that these things because many of us really put our confidence in these things 
but there comes a time when it will be suitable for the most high to let angels be active to become visible just like that girl that night she needed help that night she needed oh god almighty to be um delivered from the intention she would be raped maybe murdered but there were angels that the lord opened the eyes of these evil men that they could see that they were more for this girl who was with this girl than for who than who was against this girl and so my brothers and sisters we may not be able to see them now but they are angels among us the angels of the lord encamp it round about those that fear the most high our duty our responsibility is to fear god and keep his commandment i bless the name of jesus for this video remnant let us continue to be strong in the lord let us love on him because his plan is to see us through all what is coming that we all will endure unto the end until next until next time god bless remember tonight bible study remember tonight is the night seven o'clock in the midwest in america that's the timeline 7 pm but jamaica time it's eight o'clock i am gonna leave the link again and so let us come together as we study in revelation about the seven vials god bless you god bless you